What is going on trainers? Stix10 here and today we are restarting our Nuzlocke adventure in Pokemon Blue here. We are going to pick Bulbasaur again. Uh, that is what we chose the first time around and we're going to do better this time. We are definitely going to do better. And to prove that, we're going to name our Bulbasaur Redemption. This is our redemption here. We are going to do this Nuzlocke. And, and we are going to be a little better prepared uh, for the Nuzlocke adventure here. If you guys didn't, if you missed episode one, definitely check that out. Uh, and then we will get started here. Redemption, our Bulbasaur that is going to carry us through. And you can see uh, we're, we're fighting our rival here and, and we do win that battle. So there we go. We can start our adventure here. And I'm going to cut out... Um, a lot of the redundant battles that happen. And so there we go. We're going to pick up this potion that we missed last time. Uh, we forgot to pick that up. And so we are going to get that potion there. Very important on route one. Uh, definitely is going to help us later on. There we go. We get the parcel for Oak. And we're going to take that back. And then we can uh, go back. And give it to him, get our Pokedex, get our town map, which isn't necessarily, isn't necessary. We don't have to get the town map. I just like to have it. Um, and then we will uh, go on our adventure and go back to the Pokemart. Once again, throughout one. And um, I will say I like and let's go. And I, and I don't know if they did it in fire, uh, uh, fire red leaf green if they changed it where you don't have to walk back and forth between route one so many times before you can start your adventure and i know in let's go they allowed you to just uh like you only had to take the parcel back and then you got like all this stuff so it was a lot better there we got that potion uh we went to route two and we caught our ratata and we did go to route two uh, trying to be a little bit more strategic here and we're gonna name our Rattata this time Chomp. Uh, I thought that was a little bit better name uh, for our Pokemon here. Um, and so we are going to, and then we went back to Route 1 now, and we're gonna take catch our Pidgey. Uh, it does not want to be caught. And we are taking some damage here, but that's okay. Um, all right. It might be able to last one more. I don't know. It's pretty low level. I should be able to throw another Pokeball at it, I think. And uh, I'm going to risk it. Oh, we actually missed. Uh, okay. So now we're getting really low. I could still survive. I think I could survive a crit, right? I we're going to tackle it. This could KO it, but okay, it survives. We sur uh, we should survive this. Yeah, we're fine. All right, we're going to throw this Pokeball. As long as it doesn't break out, it shouldn't. I mean, it pr should have a pretty high catch rate. It's only level four. It's in the red. And so we caught the Pidgey finally. It, it, it took a little longer than it should have, honestly. The Pidgey giving us a little problems there. And we're going to name it um, Flappy, I think, is what, is what we should name this, this Pidgey. Flappy, um, yes, that is what we're going to name this bad boy, Flappy the Pidgey. Um, and we'll see later in our adventure uh, if we, and then we're going back to Route 22, um, and we got a Nidoran female, so that is uh, definitely better than we did last time because I think here we got a Rattata. And that's um, that's why I was using the dupe closet a little bit better. This actually was our first encounter on Route 22. Uh, but if I ran into a Rattata or a, uh, I believe you can get, I don't remember if you can run into a Pidgey here or not. I know you can run into a Spearow. It's a pretty low chance. So we do get this Nidoran. And so that is awesome for us. Uh, Nidoran female, definitely going to add that to the squad, and we're, we're going to name that one. We're going to name it. Uh, we're going to name it Liz. 
I think that's a great name for Nidoran, as in Queen Elizabeth. Uh, but we're going to name her Liz, because Elizabeth is is too long. And uh, Liz, it, it fits her. It fits her right there. So we are going to um, swap our Pokemon around. Uh, I do want to change, get some of them leveled up. Liz, definitely I want to get leveled up uh, fairly quickly. And you can see we're going to do a battle here. And we actually do run into a Spiro. Uh, Spiro knows Peck, which is a problem for our team right now. Um, and we are going to... Um, we're going to switch here in, into Redemption, our Bulbasaur. And, and we're going we're gonna to fight this bad boy, get some experience. And then I'm like, oh, mm, maybe we're not. Maybe we're not. So we're just going to run um, because I don't want to lose it. And so here we go. We are fighting. Um, a, this is our encounter in Viridian Forest. So we got a Caterpie. Going to add that to the squad for right now. Um, it it does evolve pretty quickly um, into his final evolve form. So I think early on that's going to be important for us to have on the team. And we're going to name it. Uh, we're going to name it Bird Food here. I think Bird Food is a. Uh, is fitting for Caterpie. Uh, honestly, at level 20, uh, at level, let's see, at level 12, it learns Confusion. I think it evolves at the same level, or is it, uh, it might evolve a little early. I think it evolves at 10, maybe. So we're going to battle these trainers now. Uh, I'm going to battle every single trainer. There's only, I think there's only three or four in Viridian Forest that you can battle. And so we are going to battle all of those for the experience. You can see Liz is only a level three. And so we're going to switch into Redemption here. Uh, Redemption. And then we're just going to go against a level six Weedle here. Uh, string shot, so our speed's going to lower. Uh, I think we just tackle. Uh, the AI in this is kind of wonky because uh, it's going to keep using the string shot even though we're slower than it already so it doesn't matter how many times it does that which is good for us i mean we're getting off free damage and there you go we you can see we beat the weedle uh and we defeated that and so we are going to go on to our next battle here um and we actually run into a kakuna uh i like kakuna because you can see uh i'm just Basically, I'm trying to level up Liz as much as I can and Kakunas are great uh, Kakunas Metapods are great because um, You're basically getting free experience because they're not going to attack you back. They only know Harden uh, They are long battles at times especially with just like tackle stuff. So we are going against up against the next uh, trainer here and we are going with Liz and Liz speed fell they already outspeed us. And I use Growl. I don't, that wasn't really necessary. I think I misclicked. Um, they're in an odd order. Let me see if I can change that. You can see we bring out Chomp against this Kakuna. And it's just, it's gonna be a long battle. It's a long battle, but honestly, it's it's totally worth it. And, and you're just getting a lot of experience there. Uh, and so Liz gaining some experience and grew to level eight. Now, I'm very, very excited, and she learned Scratch, so that is good. And we defeated that Bug Catcher. And here is the next Bug Catcher, Scratch. Uh, Liz is actually pretty good uh, because of the poison typing. A lot of these are resisted. Flappy grew to five, and it learned Sand Attack. And then we got Liz some more experience there, um, and then we should be... Uh, I think we're going into a another battle here, so we're going to uh, re give our Pokemon some healing there before we get into this one last battle here with the last bug catcher of Viridian Forest. Uh, let's see how we do in this one. They only have one Pokemon, uh, and it's a Weedle. It's a level 9 Weedle, though, so Flappy. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we're going to switch. And I think we're going to switch into Liz. We're actually under-leveled a little bit against this one, but that's okay. Um, and this is 
This is the only required fight in Viridian Forest, actually, um, because he does block your path. Uh, you can see that poison sting, not going to do a whole lot there. Uh, get some scratches, and we do finally defeat it. It grew to nine. You can see it didn't do hardly anything to us. Um, so that is really, really good. And then we are going to go back. Uh, we grinded up some more, and we're going to go back and fight our rival here and get some redemption for the last time that he defeated us into the ground. Um, we've got a, a better squad. We're better trained. And honestly, I just want to prove. This isn't necessary. It's it's an optional fight. But I want to prove that we can beat him um, with, a, with our enhanced squad. Here we go. Level 10 Liz going up against uh, his Pidgey here. And you can see we're dropping the attack on that Pidgey. Um, and then we're going to go for some scratches here. And they start going for those sand attacks. We'll let a couple of those build up. And you can see we're taking some damage. Scratch there. Doing some work. Uh, and this is going to be quite the battle. We'll see how many we start missing. Once we start missing, if they do a couple more sand attacks, we'll probably switch out. Um, and they're doing about five per gust. And they actually missed one, so that's really good for us. Um, there's another sand attack, so I probably need to switch out at this point because uh, we're going to just start missing like crazy. And as long as this, that does five. Okay, I think, yeah, it's time to switch. You're getting pretty low there. We're going to switch into redemption. Uh, we're going to clear uh, those accuracy uh, debuffs there and go into this. This is doing about six for gust. Um, I think, yeah, we leech seed it um, just to get some extra HP back. It's not going to be super effective, but that's okay. Use a sand attack. That's actually going to give us uh, HP on anything that comes back in. So you can see we get we got one HP. It's not a lot, but honestly, uh, for this Nuzlocke, it's going to be important to have. You use tackle, and we missed. Ugh, that sand attack, man. All right, so let's see. Gust, still doing, all right, it did five that time. So that was a low roll. So six seems to be about the high, six is the high roll maybe. That was another five. So is this gonna be enough? No, not quite, ah. And we missed, they get another sand attack off. Ugh. That's really annoying. But that should KO, right? Yeah, the Leech Seed did KO there. And we're at 18. So we got some experience there. And we're going to go up against Charmander here. So let's let's see. Um, I could... Hmm, let's see what I'm going to do. So I do switch to Flappy here. Um, and I think I'm just going to give them a dose of their own medicine. Throw some sand attacks out there. And try to lower that accuracy. So they're going to growl. That's that's fine. Uh, and we're gonna do that a couple times. Scratch. Let's see how much that does. Ooh, that did eight. But that was that a crit? I, I didn't see the text. Need to pay better attention if it was or not. We get a couple of those off and then growl. They missed sand attack. So that's three accuracy drops. And then I think. Um we're gonna use a potion on looks like we're going to revive, get Liz some more uh, health HP there. So, and then I think we can switch into her next turn. I probably could have done some damage there, honestly, with Flappy, but I want to give Liz some experience. And we can just scratch here. Oh, their scratch got through. That was a crit. It only did six on a crit. So, yeah, we should be okay here. Especially, they're going to be missing quite a few. So, they're down to 50%. Oh, they got a growl through. So, my attack's going to drop. Which should mean this is going to take three uh, scratches to KO. Uh, it might take four. Let's see. That might have been a low roll. Oh, yeah. It's going to take four. Wow. There we go. All right, it went through, so that's gonna be GG's. We do defeat our rival 
And so I'm very happy about that. Uh, we're gonna go on now and go through Viridian Forest and go and fight uh, Brock in the first gym. Uh, so we'll go on and do that. Um, I go, I grind it up a little bit um, and I go up against the first trainer here. Um, I think I think I grinded up a little bit. I may have just went in with the team that I had. Um, and that might, we'll see. Let's, let's see how this goes. Um, so we've got five Pokemon, um, but a lot of them are pretty low level. Uh, yeah, with Redemption being level nine, I did not grind up in between those battles. Um, and I'm kind of regretting that right now because I am definitely under leveled for this. And that scratch, oh, crit. Uh, so that did nine on a crit. So we're going to tackle here. Ah. I'm going to have to switch. Because that did... Uh, I can do one more. Uh, yeah, and then another tackle. Um, and at this point, I, I could survive one more. I could survive one more because I got nine. So that's possible they could roll. It could have been a low roll on the crit. And so they could get... They could get 10, but I'm going to switch out. I think it's a little safer to just switch. We've got the leech seed going. Um, and so that's going to give us some some of our health back and again keep us in there a little bit longer uh we're going to just scratch here Ugh, and they scratch us Ugh. that that's doing some damage that's for sure uh so there we go uh one more is gonna ko and so we're through the first pokemon but man we are we're not oh that did nothing wow okay so Redemption grew to level 10. Liz went to 11. So that's good. Um, so we're going to switch into Flappy. And I think kind of what we did before, I know Sand Shrew has um, a bunch. It's got sand attacks, so we're going to have to... I'm going to drop it. Drop its accuracy. And we're going we're gonna to just duel it out here with accuracy drops. Luckily, I can switch out to clear him and Sandshrew can't. So we're just gonna, oh, that did a lot. I could lose Flappy if it gets through. Okay, it failed. And I think that, was that three or four sand attacks I've done to them? They've done a few to me, so my accuracy's dropped. I think I need a switch um, because if they landed a crit, they might be able to KO. So, I just don't have, just don't have, who am I going to go with? I guess I should go, should I go redemption? That looks like what we're going to do. I heal it up before I bring it out. They use sand attack again, so that's good. We're going to go into redemption, level 10 against level 11 sand true. Has its accuracy dropped quite a bit. And their attack missed, so that's good. We're going to Leech Seed. And then we are going to... Which that didn't help us any because they've missed every time. And... We're just going to tackle our way through this. Oh, it is so not doing a whole lot. But it's missing. That's the main thing. It's missing. So we're in a pretty good position. Um, and it missed again. So we're just slowly dropping it. This is a long battle, honestly. Um, and it was at this point, I was like, I had to look it back up. I'm like, when does my redemption, the Bulbasaur, learn Vine Whip? And so I looked it up. It learns at level 13, and I know Brock's Onyx is level 14. So I'm going to level it up to 13 after this battle. I'm going to go back to Radium Forest. I'm going to grind it up, and we are going to bring Redemption with Vine Whip 
to face Brock because that battle was was very long and kind of grueling and I want to make it a little bit easier with Vine Whip and it'd still be under level of his ace. And so you can see, here we go. We go back, we grind up to level 13 and we learn Vine Whip. I thought that was important. I wanted to do it and I'm still under his ace of level 14. So we are going to now go back, heal up, face Brock with Vine Whip. And let's see how this goes. Um, could be a little dangerous if he, I think his Pokemon I th should be slower than me, but we'll see. Um, and depending on what they set up, could be an issue here. Um, Geodude is level 12 and I'm 13. So we're gonna Vine Whip. And that should, that should KO. Yeah, so there's the Oko. So we're good there. We gain some experience. And you can see, I mean, my other Pokemon are pretty under leveled. So if, if, uh, I think Vine Whip will one shot it, but you can see Onyx is actually faster than me. So luckily, this does Oko. So we beat Brock. Vine Whip, I think, is pretty necessary there. Either if you're running Bulbasaur or, uh, Char or a, uh, Bulbasaur or Squirtle there. I think you need either Bubble Beam or Bubble, whatever it is. And then uh, Vine Whip, I think is very important. So the next episode, guys, we will be going into the trainer battles prior to on Route 3. And then we'll also be going through Mount Moon and finishing up that. Um, and hopefully getting to uh, right before Misty, probably. I, I don't know if we'll go up... Um, to Nugget Bridge and do all that or not in the next episode. We'll just see how it goes. As always, I want to thank my Patreon supporters. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Nuzlocke. If you are, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you guys want me to do in the next episode. Uh, maybe some names for some Pokemon. I think we could encounter uh, a few things and uh, we will definitely see you on the next one. And as always, keep on battling.